Hello everyone, it's Asla, Asla Shekhar. Uh, I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist and an academic clinical fellow at King's College uh, in child and adolescent psychiatry. And I'm also the chair of the Early Careers Committee for the CINP. It's such a pleasure for me today to be here with Peter Sturman, who is the recipient of the 2021 Student Encouragement Award of the CINP. So we will hear from Peter about his background a little bit and we will have a few questions for him afterwards. So on to you, Peter. Hi, it's very nice being here, although it's only virtual. Um, so it's a great honor to have received the Student Encouragement Award. So about myself, I'm currently a PhD student at the Medical University of Vienna. Um, I did my bachelor's and master's degree um, at the Technical University of Vienna in uh, technical physics and biomedical engineering. And yeah, so I've got a bit of more of a technical background. Um, yeah, but I already did my master's thesis at the Medical University of Vienna in the group of uh, Professor Lanzenberger in the field of neuroimaging, uh, especially in magnetic resonance imaging. Thank you. So that's really interesting that you're from a um, technical physics background, aren't you? But I guess it's also good to sort of demonstrate that CAMP is open to a variety of investigators from so many different backgrounds. So you did tell us a little bit about your professional career, but would you like to tell us more about your own research at the minute? So um, currently I'm working uh, on various magnetic resonance imaging studies um, that is from image acquisition, so working with patients um, and also doing data analysis. Um, more recently, I've uh, also become involved uh, uh, with the group of Daniela Pollack, also at the Medical University of Vienna, and um, we're working together on preclinical studies and uh, also doing some translational work in the future, hopefully. Okay, great. So you're really delved into neuroscience <laughs> with your PhD. That's great. Uh, so do you have any specific topics in mind uh, for your future research? Currently, I'm really interested, and that's also probably the main focus of my work right now, uh, in unraveling depression, the um, mechanisms behind depression, and how different treatment approaches uh, can help the patients. Yeah, quite interesting. So is that the direction that you see yourself going into in, in terms of your future research and your future career, more neuroscience and clinical based? Yes, so um, as I said, I also try to uh, get into the field of translational research and preclinical research, since there are many opportunities and uh, yeah, many things you can't hardly um, investigate in patients. Yeah. So yeah, some basic research is uh, hardly accessible in humans and... Mm. And it is all enriching, obviously, uh, for patient care being yeah. multidisciplinary. So it's great. And obviously, you have received the Student Encouragement Award last year. So, what do you think about that? How do you think uh, the CIMP Award contributed, maybe already, or can contribute to your um, career aspirations? Well, I think the uh, name of the award uh, really stands for uh, itself. So it is definitely an encouragement for me and it shows that, um, yeah, her hard work uh, PhD students are doing actually pays off. So it's, uh, yeah, been a pleasure and honor. Thanks again for that. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to uh, continuing working in the field and hope to be able to um, yeah, contribute to the ongoing research. Yeah, I'm sure we will be hearing your name 
uh, frequently in the future as well. And thank you very much for this. I hope that this um, also encourages other students to apply for the award and um, showcase their work through that. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you.